Good day everyone, Belaine here, and today we're going to be finally finishing up chapter five. We're gonna take on that machine, and I know for sure we can do it because this weekend I spent a lot of time making sure every character was all the way maxed out that they could be and having the best weapons, and I got some advice from friends. So I'm very confident that we are going to take this guy down. And then after that, the plan is to focus on some side quests because we have really gathered a bunch of those. We have a lot of those like stockpiled, so we need to make some headway on those. And that will also probably buff us up pretty well for the next chapter as well. So without further ado, it is time to game with Bellame. So let's continue. And I have us saved right up to the point where we should jump right back into the boss battle and we're gonna take him down. So I decided for this battle to go with Morag. Oh, hi, super gamer guy. Good to see you, thanks for coming. So I will show you guys the team that I decided to go with. I'm gonna do a team of Morag, Nia, and Zeke. And I think that should be pretty good because I got them mostly equipped and leveled up as good as we can for now, I would say. The wind is I kind of spent all my money doing so, but should be good to go. So, let's get into the action. Here we go. Let me read you the agenda right. for today. So I'm going to be the tank this time. Just need to make sure that we stay away from the rest of the team. Oh, I need to draw our weapon. I want to be away from them. So they can just attack from behind while we distract over here. Alright. We got this. Yeah, more main, of course. Alright. Some attacks going. Alright. Alright, we got this, we got this. So I hope you guys had an Excellent awesome weekend, combo. by the way. Oh, that's a super fun weekend. Alright. Ooh, electric rusty bolt. It's weak to it. didn't connect. Alright, hopefully Mia will keep us all healed up. We should be able to go. Your advice for playing more? Save judgment for when you see an enemy art name pop up. Oh, that's a good idea. I've just been kind of using it whenever. <laughs> I didn't know there would be enough time between seeing the name and clicking it, but I'll do that. That sounds like a great idea. Let's see, and then we can do... Oh, we missed this one. Oh, right now, right now. No, I think we missed it. Oh, potion. Yes. 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 I don't know if we'll level up in time. Got that level two in. Okay, let's go now. I think it worked. I think we got it in time. I need to get her timing down. Well, against most enemies, it hardly matters, but against units or bosses, the tactic makes all the difference. Yeah, I Definitely. I love the illusion moves. Um, oh, I should have used it again. Ugh, oh, I was looking at my other stuff. I was looking at level 2 stuff. Let's get into that. And then, oh, we can get ultimate water now. Perfect. There we go. That'll help out. 
There we go. That's good too. Alright. We are doing so good. Look at our HP. So close. I didn't have it even ready yet. Oh, I thought that was an angel attack. Oh no! Alright, Nia. Potions. Oh, so close. We got this. We got this. Oh, yeah. That's what we're talking about. That was not hard at all. Thank goodness for friends. <laughs> oh, no. I forgot about this. I hope she's not dead. I'm meant to be a driver now. I have a blade of my own. Oh. I couldn't do anything. Oh, fan. Fan. Nothing's changed. I'm just as weak as I've always been. You're not as weak as before. We've grown. Jin. What happened? Oh. To make you like this. Yeah, something bad must have happened to him to make him like that. Especially because they were saying he never fought before. What is that? Or like, didn't like to. Oh, what Dad. is that? Right Are they coming after me. us? So many of them. What? No! Oh my gosh. Shit! Who gave that damn order? At this rate, I don't think there's any stopping them. How so? They think Mor Ardain attacked them illegally with no declaration of war. Oh my goodness. This is bad. If someone doesn't explain what's really going on. But there's no time for that. So what? We just give up. Uh oh. You guys better get out of the way. Heavy cannons. That's Uriah's main weapon. Oh, Here too. snap. More Ardain also readying artillery. Oh, Rex looks I don't care mad. if we're not going to make it in time. We need to get to Uriah. Right. Wait. Oh, what is that? Oh, it's... Oh my gosh. A Malthus, right? Hmm. He was looking mighty evil there. Aw, she's dead. Jin's kill streak counter went up. He's one kill from a UAV. <laughs> Riding in on a white horse. Horse, I mean dragon. Titan thing. Okay. Yeah, let's save that so we don't have to ever do that battle again. Hooray. We just saved. <laughs> yeah. Oh gosh. I feel like stuff's about to go down. Chapter 6. Wounds. Oh, maybe we'll learn what happened to Jen. Uh, this is kind of scary. You little scamp. Do you know how much the core you took was worth? What? I stole it from the castle. Three years it took me to get it. And now... Oh my gosh. Please! <gasps> she's barely Oh my gosh. Silence! Stay out of it! Oh! That dude's awful. If you die, it'll be as good as new. You <gasps> brought this on yourself. Oh my god. 
protect you oh my gosh I'll keep you safe always oh my name is Jin What's oh my yours? gosh is that Hayes Laura Laura Here's our legally obligated flashback to a long time ago. Oh my gosh. Well, he was really helpful it there. It seems like sending Alcos was the right choice. You all right? I've been through worse. I can handle it. Jin, I swear I'll make your dream come true. So stop putting yourself at risk. There's still time. Is that part of your dream, too? What are we in the end? Hmm. What a this lucky girl to get such a hottie from a core. <laughs> is it really my own, or is it someone else's? <sighs> Sometimes I can't tell. Tell me, Jin, are you really here? I don't know where I really am. You're mm -hmm. starting to sound like a human. Oh, yeah. Perhaps we're not so different after all. Humans and blades. Well, why did you just kill Fan? And no Bramance. <laughs> uh, stop, I can't hold it all. Yeah, that looked like some Bramance going on there. They must be good buddies. I didn't realize the Titan for that place was so big. Hmm, who's that? Hmm. Oh, there's our Royal Highness. There must be some kind of meeting about to happen. What's the deal with this ceasefire? A tribunal, it looks like. Praetor Amalthus is here in person. Oh, I like their and voice. And who's going to argue with the Praetor? Does he have any clue how many men we lost? If those Ardanians get away with this, architect, damn it. Oh, it's Quit either Aussie or mate. New Zealand, but I love it. All this is way beyond our pay grade. You got that right. We're all just faceless cannon fodder to the bigwigs. CO says jump, we jump. I say Australian. Oh, it sounds so good. That was a nice little fluff. Morning, folks. Everyone sleep well? Not a wink. Figured as much. Let's take a nice walk over to the hall where the emergency summit's being held. Clear our heads a little. Someone's got to escort Morag, Morag over there, right? I think I'd be perfectly capable of finding my own way. Yeah, she would. And Mithra's meant to be attending too, right? Apparently, yes. See, we might as well all head over. I guess you're right. Let's go then. I appreciate that they keep the accents consistent for Titan of Origin. Just like real accents, they come from world groupings. Oh. I hadn't even thought about that until you said so. That's completely true. That's awesome. Alright, we're gonna go talk to them, see what the summit's all about, 
and then maybe that's a good chance to start working on our side quests. We'll see. But I'm really, really curious about what they're going to do, so I want to do this first. It's so addicting, I just want to know more of the story. Plus we can watch uh, Bridget here with those cool lantern-y things on her hips. And her amazing hair. Oh, that is so fancy. We didn't even need an escort. Morag just led the way herself. Oh gosh, is this the right way? Okay, good. Whew. Hey there, friend. May we enter? Through here is the venue for the Summit of Nations. I must apologize, but entry is forbidden to all but the official representatives of each nation. I guess this is as far as we go. Yes, Bridget and I will proceed to the summit. I'm coming with you. And so are you, Mithra, remember? I guess. I'm not sure I like it, but I suppose I have to play my part in all this. Rex, you head back to our chambers with the others and wait for us. No problems. Be careful on there, okay, Mithra? Don't worry, I'll handle this just fine. Um, yeah, I'm not sure what those canisters are on her hip, and why does she even need a dagger on her belt? <laughs> yes, good point. I have no idea. My deepest thanks to you for agreeing to this ceasefire, Queen Rakura, Emperor Nile. As I recall from the Assyrian Treaty of 350 years ago, the Praetorium was to refrain from intervention in times of war. And yet here you are intervening. Uh-oh, not following the but rules. I trust you have a suitable justification, your eminence. Naturally. But first, to ensure impartiality in these negotiations, may I present Nira Nira, acting chairman of the Argentum Trade Guild. Furthermore, representing the Tantalese, His Highness the Crown Prince Ozyclyrus Brunev Tantal will also be attending. That's a long name. The Crown Prince? The Prodigal Prince of Tantal. <laughs> oh, she's smiling. Welcome to a political me meeting. Seems legit. What a boss name you have there, Zeke. Yeah, seriously. I like Zeke. What a spectacle! Oh, it's Seems them again. The Praetor has as much cloud around here as ever. Could we not just take them out here and now? Good point. All the principal nations' heads gathered here. It'd make things easy later. The way to the world tree must first be opened. Wiping out mankind is the easy part. We could manage that There's ourselves. a lot of pretty boys on that team. Even so. That isn't our only goal, remember? We must wait for the stage to be set. Is Jin serious about this? Yeah. I've been wondering that myself. <laughs> oh, he's serious. He always is. <laughs> <laughs> he will annihilate mankind, and then he will kill the architect. Oh my gosh. What good would that do? Now, it seems more Ardain has been accused of a unilateral breach okay, of treaty in this matter. Name on papers and checks. Emperor Nile, I open the floor to you. Yep, just get Is a stamp. Is there anything you wish to say? While we are still conducting investigations into the cause, it cannot be denied He's that weaponry to be a belonging good ruler. to our forces was discharged against Uriah. Regardless of any possible reason and circumstance, we are prepared to offer recompense for this grave offence. So you want to settle this with money? We will provide any compensation deemed necessary. Perhaps I'm misunderstanding. To my ears, it sounds almost as if you mean to imply that the blame for these offenses does not lie with your majesty at all. We are investigating. I ask that we not draw any hasty conclusions. What need is there for investigation? I believe a cause has already been established. There are witnesses. And that would be? 
His goatee looks like it would be painful. He could stab someone with it. What a preposterous notion. The people you speak of are merely a terrorist group. How could they possibly command that measure of... It's the truth. I, Ozyclirus, swear this in the name of King Eulogimenos Tantal. Can confirm ex-chairman Banner give these people some kind of supplies. Military supplies, methinks. And in great number, yes. But why would... What if I were to tell you that the Aegis Malus, who raised the world five centuries ago, was involved? Ridiculous! Everyone knows he disappeared in a blaze of flame! Nope, he's alive. He's very much alive, believe me. That arsehole, I mean, the Aegis, <laughs> has confronted us in person. And if my word is not enough for you... Oh, there's Mithra. I was wondering when she was going to come in there. A blade? But, but that core crystal... <gasps> this is another Aegis, named Mithra. Your Highness has heard of her, surely. So the rumors that reached us were true. Who is its driver? If you knew that, I dare say your surprise would be even greater. Yep. But that is not the matter we are here to discuss, Your Highness. This is a dire it's so situation. so funny seeing him speak this clearly. When we first met him, he was like total goofball, like Team Rocket wannabe. It's so funny. Six o'clock already. Mithra's been in there. Oh, he's getting worried. For a long time now. We've just got to trust them. They're dealing with the leaders of whole nations. It's not like there's anything you or me can do to help. Ugh. I've noticed something about Malos. He's an Aegis, but you wouldn't know it from how he's fighting. I think... I'm pretty sure he's damaged in some way. You mean he can't use the full extent of his powers? The wounds I dealt in our battle long ago may not be completely healed. Hmm. His end goal is Elysium. He wants to go back to the place he was born. There he can heal until his powers have recovered. Oh. If Malos is allowed to restore himself... The horrors of five centuries past will return. Now she gets it. Or worse still, Malos's goal is simple. He means to destroy humanity in its entirety. Why would anyone desire that? Yes, I'm wondering the same thing. Perhaps he doesn't even need a reason. It seems to be a deep-seated drive. An instinct. As natural as breathing. Maybe he's like an erase type reset. All of this he just... is my responsibility. Praetor Amalthus? Whatever do you mean? Oh my gosh, he looks it evil. It was none other than I who awakened Malos and unleashed him upon the world. So, your eminence, the rumor that you were once Malos's driver is... I never intended to obscure the truth. It is writ plain for all to see in history books. I was a fool. I wonder if he's it supposed to, to look evil but isn't really evil. That all passage to the World Tree was forbidden after the Aegis War. However, it has become apparent that the laws of men do not apply to Malos. Oh my gosh, he just looks the so evil. The time may though. have come to lift that restriction. He, he looks like the, an evil Link. I appreciate this. Don't think you've earned my trust. 
But since Rex is going to Elysium, their paths are bound to cross. That's all. I'm surprised. You seem so devoted to the boy. Well, he's nice. It's for both our sakes. What does that but mean? But you, Amalthus, who is it that you're living for? <laughs> no. Elves aren't always evil. He's basically a high elf. I don't know, just the eyes. Something really intense. Morning, folks. You're looking a bit uh, better slept than yesterday. Pretty much. Fan state... Oh, fan... State funeral is to be held today, is it not? Yeah, I think it was meant to be happening in... Sioris Plaza, right outside the Sanctum. You'll be going, right, chum? Yes, it would be wrong for me not to. Sioris Plaza, very not far away. Time to go, quick, quick. Master Pond's so bossy sometimes. <laughs> oh, Poppy, we missed you. Alright, party formation has changed. Oh, Morag's not with us. Um, since we have Rex, I guess we'll swap out Tora for Zeke. So we have our tank back in there. I know he's kind of a tank and an attacker, but we haven't used Tora in a while, so I think we'll stick with this. We can always swap him out later. But we haven't used Tora in a while. Alright, let's go. You know what? Let's jump off the balcony. Woohoo, Geronimo! Because we already got the chest in there. I don't think another one comes in there at all. Alright, let's go see the sad funeral. Alpha by name, alpha by nature. Aw, fan. Oh, this is so sad. I liked her. She kind of reminded me of Yuna. Aww. He's determined. I guess they did call her a goddess. The state funeral makes sense. Shouldn't you be with him? He's a boy. Best not to bother them at times like this. Huh? <laughs> really? I expected you'd be more clingy. You really are different from it. Actually, letting him be was more her idea than mine. Really? How you does? Get out. So wait, you're saying you want to go be clingy or what? <laughs> I'll burn you. Oh my I gosh. I did, I can't. Sheesh. That's pretty great. It's weird, though. What is? I mean, don't you think it's odd? Normally, if a blade or its driver dies, it'll just go back to being a core crystal. So why is Fan just dead? I did wonder the same thing. Me too. There's only one way I know for a dead blade to keep its physical form. Remember Minna? I mean, Cole. He was a flesh eater. Yeah. But, Fan wasn't a flesh eater. I can say that for sure. Hmm. What's that? Yeah. What? What is? That's the shape of that? Fan's core crystal. Is that really well, necessary? It used to be. <laughs> but now it's a triangle. Rex and I are quite a unique case, but this is different still. How is it different? If a blade shares its core with another, its shape changes in a uniform fashion. In our case, the center part went to Rex and the outer part to us. I don't know why that is, but it seems to be a rule. But Fans hmm. isn't like that. Exactly. It looks more like someone stole her core. Oh no. Doesn't it? She's making a diamond with her fingers, but due to being Mithra, she's just spotlighting her cleavage. Seriously. 
Yeah. Can't but help but laugh a little. Yeah. All right, that was quite the grand funeral ceremony. It spoke volumes as to just how much Fan was loved by her people. The goddess of Indol won't be an easy position to replace. Hey Rex, what are you going to do from here on out? If we're going to reach the World Tree, we'll need the Praetor's help, but... Master Rex, there you are. Praetor Amalthus wishes to speak with you. He's waiting in the audience chamber. That's perfect timing, then. Maybe he wants to talk about the World Tree. I'm afraid I cannot say. Well, there's only one way to find out. Let's get ourselves on over to the audience chamber, then. Ooh. Now, should we go to the audience chamber, or should we begin our side quests? Hmm. Honestly, had Pyra done that, it would have been fine. <laughs> uh, I... Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. Pyra's got the same chest, so... Alright. Oh... This, I don't know if this is a good time to start our side quest. Okay, let's see. I'd continue until Morag rejoined. Oh, that's a perfect... Yeah, I forgot Morag actually left the party. Yes. Thank you. This is why I like to stream with friends. Because get more input. And I don't overlook things. So let's do that definitely. We can enjoy the uh, churchly music. <laughs> in the courtyard and we can have our blades randomly switch as we're running wait where's rock there he is oh look at how he walks i've never seen that before huh oh it's night time Oh, Dan's here. Hi, Dan. Pyra's the same chest, but hers is wholly covered. <laughs> Science is important. <laughs> Alright, what's he doing here? Oh. <gasps> Did he steal? What is happening? What's going on? My apologies. Did I keep you waiting? Did you want us to see that? No, not really. What were you doing? I was cleansing the core crystals. It markedly increases their resonance success rate. Bonding with the crystal carries certain risks, you understand. I know. Hmm. When I became the driver of an Aegis, this power was awakened in me. So do we have that power? So I might be able to do it Oh, too. he was thinking the same thing. Who knows? Different people are cut out for different things. Uh-oh. Right, yeah. Low battery. Now then. My work is done for the day. Come with me. I wonder how much longer it'll last. A special envoy. To Tantal. Me. Correct. Behold. Ooh, a map. As a salvager, I imagine you are already aware. Ooh, but this do we get to know more salvagers' codes? The world we currently inhabit. We make our home on Titans, moving in circles around the world tree. Oh, they're like planets. And here lies the great void. This void came into being 500 years ago. It did not exist prior to that. So I've heard. It's in our way anyway. It stops us reaching the world. No, you can't do it, Scrub. <laughs> the great void. It looks like we're going to town tall. By a monstrous beast known as Ophion. Wait, oh, you mean that Ophion? Thing? That was the thing that attacked us. Or maybe not attacked, but kept us from getting closer. To be precise. It is an artifice, a servant of the Aegis. Of Mithra? Huh. So if that thing is Mithra's, then what did it attack us for? Yeah, good Doesn't question. Sense. Ophion was felled in the ancient battle with Malos, sinking below the clouds. Hmm. Oh, that looks a lot like Xenoblade 1. 
like some of the um, weapons that they use, those claw hands. This means someone must have revived it. Correct. And you're saying that someone was Zeke's home country, Tantal? Yes. They gave Ophion one directive. To ensure that none approach the World Tree. Hmm. They sought to prevent a repeat of the horrors of the Aegis War. So, an obstacle was created. The Great Void. How did they manage a feat like that? As I've said, mankind is regressing. Only one artifact remains that can rescind Ophion's orders, and it lies in Tantal. <laughs> oh my gosh, the chat. <laughs> it's called the Omega Feta, and it's guarded by the royal family. I'll take you to it. I've prepared your envoy documents already. Your quest is to set foot in Elysium, correct? Malus and his ilk will surely seek the Omega Feta for themselves. I would ask you to reach Elysium before they do, and inform me of what you find there. Hmm. Do it as a favor for a once foolish I'm old man. I'm not sure what to think of this guy. And so that people may have a future in this dying world. Like, it seems like he's trying to help us, but something about him just seems off. So, Zeke, you're going to be guiding us to Town Tall, right? Sure am. But let's head back to our chambers before we talk about it. This isn't exactly the place for discussing stuff. Back to our room? Got it. I feel like back to the room might not be the place to discuss either, though. If anyone's going to be listening in, I think it's bugged everywhere. You're bound for Tantal, I believe. I trust that you will fulfill your duty as the Praetor's envoy. Remember, his eminence has placed all his hope in you. What does the Praetor have to say? As <laughs> Mithra jumps on his chair there. To reach Elysium, we must first stop Ophion. <laughs> she is distracting me. <laughs> the beast that carved the Great Void. And Ophion's directive was issued from Tantal, Zeke's homeland. What are you doing, Mithra? <laughs> I've prepared envoy documents for you so that you may enter as representatives of Indal. I entreat you to, re <laughs> to reach Elysium before Malos. Do it as a favor for a once foolish old man. Hey, he just said that. Alright, enough of that playing around, Mithra. Seems like he carries the regret with him. Yeah, it does. He regrets <laughs> taking the wrong lottery ticket. Uh. <laughs> Science, it's what's for dinner. Nice. Did you guys ever watch Bill Nye the Science Guy? I don't know why I just thought of him, but I did. I loved that show. <laughs> Bill, 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 Bill. Bill Nye the Science Guy. Alright. Uh, are we getting- No, it's right over here. Alright. Here we go. Oh, and it's turning into- Oh, it's morning actually, not night. We've prepared your rooms. I presume you'll be wanting to take your leave soon? Please, make sure you're well rested before you set out once more. Uh, yeah. We'll rest. We, we didn't watch them in school. Ship, but once we're there, we'll Shame need to do a spot of walking. Oh, really? So what, is, what happened to him? You. Never thought I'd see the day. I think you'll find I make a fantastic ally. Mm, luck of Zeke, not so great. Bet we shipwrecked <laughs> by tomorrow. Aw, Tora. <laughs> <laughs> Cheeky furball. Oh, Zeke, We're you're great. Die. <laughs> oh, Mia. Hey, Zeke, <laughs> you said before that Torna concerned you too. What did you mean by that? What? Oh, yeah, that. I don't know about those clowns, but Torna, the country that fell 500 years ago, they were the ancestors of us Tantalese. Oh. The people of Tantal are descended from Adam. The hero of Torna, who escaped its destruction. Huh. So, after Pyra fell asleep, Adam escaped to Tantal. That's right. That is the first I've heard of it. I He's have much studied much history, but this story never featured. Most peculiar. 
We're humble. Don't really like to brag about it. The only What's real that? trace left is in this here sigil of the royal family. Hmm. Interesting. So why did you awaken Hayes? Because her power was of great use to me. Indol has found itself under attack from Torna a number of times. She was necessary in driving them back. Really? Mm, what does she do? Then why don't you seem to have any others? Blades, that is. Mithra gets straight <laughs> to the point. Driver though I may be, I am no fighter. Besides, I find the warrior monks here so reliable. They get the job done. <laughs> if you say so. I wonder, do you know why Torna are using the name of a dead country? Jin was a blade of Torna once. Loyalty yep. and nostalgia. Who can say? Perhaps both. Hmm. Is that really all there is to it? No, there's more. You don't think so? I don't know much about what happened while I slept. There are no written records, either. All we have is stories passed down. And you think Something that is insufficient? Haze, History is a murky thing. Only those present can truly know what took place. Yeah, that's but true. weren't you one of those present? Ooh. And that is why I offer you my cooperation. Oh no, come on, tell us more. I guess we'll find out if we go to Tantal. Ah, oh, so close. Right, let's head for Geotu. Oh gosh, how do you say that? Uh, Geotu Tuis? Oh, I don't know. Can we make it a leisurely walk? I guess. Why? It's been yonks. What the heck? Yonks? I don't think I've ever heard that saying. It's been yonks since I last went home to Tantal. I've been thinking of Indal as my home so long now. It feels weird to leave. I want to enjoy my last moments here. You can be shockingly sentimental sometimes. I know, shocking, isn't it? Shut up, you two. Gonna take some Indoline presents for the folk you haven't seen in a while? Ha, as if my old man would want any of that. Come on, let's start walking to Geotius Port. <laughs> you could grab a swig of Adifa along the way. They don't have that stuff in Tental, so this could be your last chance. I said shut up already. Oh, I like their banter. Let's see. Jolly Cooper. <laughs> Wrong game. I don't know what that is a reference to. Sorry. Let's talk to him for a second. I need to catch my breath after experiencing such a historical moment. A spot of prayer should do the trick. Really, I suppose I ought to go home to Argentum before I get mixed up in any of this, but I think I'll stick around. I only plan to come here on a lazy tour spree, but my merchant blood is telling me I have to see this through. Okay. Alright, is there anything else around here of note? I guess we could talk to this person. Hi there! With the summit over, the emergency security measures have been lifted. However, I feel there is still tension hanging in the air of the city. Even the holy songs that ring out through the plaza sound somehow strained to my ears today. Uh, sounds the same to me. Alright, first of all, I'm going to save, because that was a lot of cutscenes and stories, and, uh, yeah. Don't have to redo all that. Let's see if this guy has something to say. Oh, the tragedy of it all. Something wrong? To think the day would come when I would have to enter the date of Lady Fan's death into the annals of Indal. The children loved her so, I don't think they really understood yet that she's gone forever. And we will never again hear her beautiful voice ring out in song. Oh, I know I miss her already. She was so cool. Jelly Corporation is what Solaire and Dark Souls said. Oh yeah, I never played Dark Souls. Mm, praise the sun. Amazing chest ahead? What? Did I pass it? Or do you mean other chest? Not treasure chest. 
There we there's something. Treasure trove. Treasure acquired. Calm your mind. Alright, let's Structural see if we can have enough for this. <gasps> we got one down. I'm an expert yes! on all things We did it. What's in here? Something good? Uh Gauntlet and some money. That's still good. Alright. Carry what? on. We still haven't got more ag. We need to go get her. Thantia. Sure is a good thing my blade's so powerful. Well, the other day my blade found a poor sod who'd fallen into Indal's back onto Indal's back. She was from the refugee camp. Said she didn't want any help from a blade. Got quite angry. But we couldn't just leave her there like that, so we had to manhandle her out of there. Jeez. That probably didn't help her uh, opinion of blades much. Why is there like a dot down there? Is that a bird maybe? Alright, I'm leaving it. Okay. I'll talk to this guy. I was just remembering how kindly Lady Fan used to treat all the refugees. I cannot understand how anyone could bring themselves to take the life of such a kind and noble soul. It feels as though the end all I know and love is gradually slipping away. It scares me a little. Oh, I know. So sad. Alright, we- oh! I was gonna go to the store, but cutscene intervened. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. Tension seem high. From what I gather, it seems an official summit is to be held between Morardane and Uriah. A summit? You mean about the recent pension? But I thought... Didn't Praetor Amalthus get them to stop and sort it all out? Perhaps there are some discussions they would prefer Indol not to be privy to. Besides, Uriah doesn't like to associate too closely with Indol. Okay, They'd hate Dan, to be we'll seen as to acquiescing to the Praetor's will. Since you asked so nicely. Got to keep up appearances, you know. Acquiescing? You what? Like, letting him tell them what's what. <laughs> For such a span, are you sure you some big words? How can? <laughs> Stop calling me that! Buzz off, kitty no-mates! Ooh, feisty. Anyway, this summit would explain why Morag isn't around. Indeed. She has much to attend to. Well, we gotta find Morag. Oh, there she is. Shared sovereignty over Gormot. Yes. I don't think anything less would be sufficient to placate them. The Senate would never approve it. I can overrule them by decree. I know, of my course, battery's low. I would need to secure Senator Roderick's cooperation. Imperial decree? If it's come to that, well, then I cannot dissent. I cannot help but admire your courage, Your Majesty. That means a lot, coming from you. Acting Chairman Nira Nira. Sorry for intrude. Is emergency. So Nira Nira take liberty of drop by unannounced. Hmm. You uh -oh. certainly look troubled, Chairman. What's going so on? What is this emergency you speak of? Well. Oh no. Oh, tell us. Ah. Alright. First of all, they wanted us to get a drink, I think. Let's see if it's here. Uh, yep, they wanted us to get this one. So we'll get one extra one of those. I am low on money though. I spent a lot of money to level everybody up. Alright, so it looks like our pouch is empty. Let's take a quick look at the affinity charts. I don't think we can do anything with her. And I'm still trying to work on her level 2. But I've been told that I have to let the story progress in order to finish the helping out the friends. Because I found one of them, but for whatever reason, I can't give him my chest set. So I have to wait until something happens. Alright, what about him? Um, crushing Typhoon. Seafood. Okay, we can give him some seafood. Let's do that. 
There we go. Alright. Oh, it refilled for us. I forgot. And we have one more left. Or, I mean, two more. Let's see. I guess we'll just let that run out because I'm pretty sure that Pyra needed some more of that for her affinity chart. Yep, we need one more of those for her. Make food? Oh. Huh, I guess we gotta make some food. Alright. Um, that's good for now, because we are really low on money. So, let's head down. Oh look, we can talk to those guys now! Look at that! Aw. We need Nim, don't we? Let's take a look. Um, actually, I think it would... Can we look at it through blades? Alright, Nim, where are you? Nim, Nim, Nim. There she is. Let's see what she can do. Oh no, she can't. Oh yeah, there it is. Phoenix Linguistics. Okay. So... Can we rearrange her here? No. Whose blade is that? I think it was... Oh, I was just on the menu. Oh, too many backs. Uh, where was I again? Blades, that's right. All right, Nim is Morag. Oh, we don't have Morag. Ah. All right, we'll have to come back. Nims on Morag. Waiting on the near, near ASMR. <laughs> near, near. All right. Well, that was a waste of time. Oh well. Ooh, look. Sniffy. Something wrong. Sniff, 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 sniff. Friend have smell of strong fighter. Is friend, is friend very strong? Huh? Sorry, sn Sniffiffy should not sniff sniff friends before he even say hello. Sniffiffy have very good nose. Never make any mistake with smell before. And nose of Sniffiffy say Sniffiffy should open new shop in Temperantia. Wow, pretty impressive. But nobody have shop there yet, so Sniffiffy not know of good travel route. Sniffiffy think nose alone probably not enough to keep fellow merchants safe. So was sniffing around to find strong person to use as bodyguard. Sniffy sniff sniff a hundred people and you smell strongest out of all one hundred. Please, friend, help Sniffy set up shop in Temperantia. We'll give it our best shot. Yay, thank friend much. Sniffy will wait on Overlook Hill in Temperantia then. Come quick. Got it. A ripe new frontier. Okay, we'll help you out, but not at this very second. And he's gone. See that store over there? I had no idea that there this corridor existed. I felt so dumb when I find when I found it. Inspecting. I think we already talked to this person. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. We gotta get more ag. Oh, another cutscene. Wasn't expecting that. So we can make our way to Tantal from here. Oh, he could be blind. Oh, I never put. I, I never assume about the that. Praetor has a ship waiting for us. Hey, Shellhead. <laughs> Still calling him what? Shellhead. Are we really gonna just leave Morag behind? Who's leaving anyone? She's got her own priorities. Oh, you no, know? we need Morag. Yeah, but still. Anyway, her schedule is filled with official I thought we were going to meet right up with now. her here. For sure. It's just a bit of a shame is all. You know, since we came all this way together. I guess I know how you feel, chum. Huh? Speak of the devil. Yay, there she is. Hooray. And Bridget. Reunited at last. 
banners going for the summit. On top of everything, an assassination attempt? If blood gets spilled at the summit, it'll mean war. War's good for business, after all. I guess he wants to use that to get himself back in with the guild. Why that little? I was wondering where he'd slunk off to. What a sneaky git. <laughs> it seems acting chairman Nira Nira wishes to take care of this incident covertly, to avoid it reflecting badly upon the guild. So you came to us? Hmm. If we mobilize the army, the whole thing will become public. Oh, I get it. So we're a more convenient solution. I'm not forcing you. If you refuse, Bridget and I will do what we can alone. Ah, oh, come off it, lady. <laughs> you wouldn't even think of dragging us into this if you thought you could handle it on your own. I suppose not. You know Banner as well as I. There's no telling what he might be plotting. Oh, we haven't According seen the last of Banner, apparently. Nira, several giant weapons were being built at the factory where we last saw him. And one of them is currently unaccounted for. Giant weapons. Is that the one Got James it. using? Besides, you know, we've got our own score to settle with him. Thank you. It will be easier to focus on my duties knowing you are on the case. Good luck. Wait, you're not coming with us? Leave it to us. What? 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 Tantal's gonna have to wait for a bit. Yep. She wants to side quest. Yeah, I did want a side quest after Morag. Uh, set as active quest. Is she with us? I guess we'll set it. I do need to get some side quests done because we have a lot of those built up. Oh my gosh, look at all these. Man, it really opened up. Oh, there's, there's a bunch. Ask around Indal to see if you can find information about shady figures. Hmm, that's a lot. Is now a good... Wait, is she actually with us? I don't think Morag's with us right now. No, she's not. So do we have to do this to get Morag? Do we have to do this quest? Hey, you heard about anything suspicious going down at the Uri Ardanian summit? Well, um, I saw these weird bird people, not like Nopon, a bit bigger than that, and um, really bird looking, <laughs> birdy looking. I think I saw pictures of them before in a picture book, but I can't remember what they're called. Turkin, maybe? That's it, they're called Turkin. Thanks, that was really bugging me. But what would a bunch of Turkin be doing in a place like this? Thank you. You have my gratitude also. Shady. Okay, um, let's see. Uh, the big side quests that come to mind are Vest Quest and Core Hunters. After this event, you get more egg back. Okay, cool. Basically, just keep going till she gets back. It's a bad idea to quest without her. She'll fall behind and lose valuable points. Yeah, I agree completely. We need to get her back. Um, have you heard about anything untoward going on at the Uri Ardanian Summit? I do wonder. Myself, I am Ardanian, yet I live under the protection of Indal. And the Orions and Gormadi here, for instance, seem to get along just as well. But just take a look at those lot. Clutching their tools of conflict and fixing one another with the coldest of stares. They can't even have a civil discussion short of holding a banquet like this. Don't you think it's absurd? If they had the time to be wasting on such extravagancies, they should be using it to save their own suffering people. It does frustrate me. Sometimes I think the people running those nations could learn a thing or two from our camp. Hmm... Wow, very eloquently said. Oh look, the guy we just talked to. Have you heard anything? Soon will be big summit talk thing, yes? Friend know anything about suspicious things happening there? There was one request I thought was decidedly suspicious. We had a Nupon fellow asking about supplies of poisonous substances. I told him we do not handle such items here, of course, and he left soon after. But from what I hear, he's been asking around other places too. Who knows what he might be plotting? Ooh, that sounds very fishy. Is he gonna poison someone? Alright, I thought I saw one over here. There it is. 
Oh, I'm not even going to try that name. That's crazy. Oh, I have a good one for you. Let's hear the details. Some kind of ingredients with a monstrously foul odor were carried into the Ardanian Titan vessel. The stench was so strong I can still smell it on my clothes. There were other ingredients too, weird and wonderful, a lot of them. I don't know what they're for, but it can't be your average recipes. Hmm. Again, with the poisoning theory. Alright, are the other people this way? Yes, there's one. Hello, mister. There's certainly something not quite right going on. I saw a very large wooden box being transported on the Titan battleship. It was accosted... I mean, ugh, accosted. It was accounted for on the inventory list, so most of my colleagues think it's no problem. But I honestly can't imagine what they would want such a huge box for. I'm worried about what might be inside. Hmm, sounds like a Trojan horse type situation. This is not looking good at all. The Ardanian Titan battleship has extremely sturdy defenses. I doubt there's a single weapon in this whole port that could damage it. Besides, I hear the main conference will only be attended by a very select group of trustworthy individuals. I can't imagine how any miscreant could hope to get close to the VIPs to harm them, even if they wanted to. A lot of people are on edge, but I don't think that there's anything to worry about. Hmm. I don't know. Let's see, huge box. Maybe your supply of sausages for Tora. <laughs> ah, they finally got it in. Nice. Um, nothing untoward is going on in the Ardanian army, I assure you. Those who have come to Indal belong to the Kareg Imperial Guard, elite soldiers who have sworn solemn oaths to protect the Emperor. So if anything suspicious were going on, I'd venture it would have to be the Orion side. I find it difficult to tell what those people are thinking sometimes. Hmm. Okay. Runatio. Hey, Runatio. In the current climate, I fear almost anything could happen. I can scarcely wait for the day when that huge, awful Titan battleship is gone from our shores. It pains me to even see such an unsightly structure in our beautiful city. I'm sure all upstanding Indoline citizens resent its presence. Why can Moradin and Uriah not cease all this foolish conflict and simply submit themselves to the will of Indal? Um... Not... Uh, is it this way? It might be, actually. Oh wait, we need to go down. Are they down there? I don't think so. This is not the correct way. Let's look at the map! Oh, my battery again. I hope it'll last. Um, not there. There's one. We are already there. The elite guard, they're the normal guard with more reddish outfits. Alright. Oh, there we go, right next to him. Perhaps there are untoward intentions on the Moradain side. Frankly, I would expect it. But I can assure you that we of Araya have no intentions of trying anything funny. The word of Queen, queen Rakura is absolute. We trust in our queen, and as she wills it, we gladly put our weapons aside, so there is no need for concern. Of course, if the queen ordered me to take up arms, I would gladly fight tooth and nail against those Ardanian dogs. You would do well not to forget that. Okay. Now, the other one was down a spike somewhere. There it is. Right nearby. I have to do a lot of talking. Oh, let me see if I can trade anything really quick. And... No. Oh, well. Hey, look what I found! Oh, we've never been down Congratulations. here. Congratulations! Do do do, walking down a long pathway. Do do do. There he is. Calumned. Oh, am I near and near? I just pray we able to blow this case wide open before Queen Wakira 
Walk Ugh, whatever. Tora, get it. Near near counting on you. We didn't mean to talk to you, sorry. We wanted to talk to you. Problems at the summit? A ridiculous notion. The summit will be held aboard this Titan battleship, so we have no need to fear attacks from the outside. This door is the only entrance, and it will not be opened until just before the summit to admit Queen Rakura. We have not allowed a single suspicious individual to pass this point. As such, there is no need to fear attack from within either. Okay. I mean, we are walking right up here and no one's saying a word, so... I don't know how good that is. Alright, let's see where the last one is. And it is right... Oh. There. I know, seriously, you let in that giant box. Off we go. Refresh and set off again. Right. Oh, maybe it's down this corridor that I forgot about before. Of course it is. Oh, maybe it's not. Where's my map? What? Wait a second. Um, oh, maybe in the inn. We've gathered quite a bit of information now. Yeah, and plenty of it blatantly bogus, but there were some rumors in there that did bug me a bit. Time to sort out the real dirt from the baseless suspicion. Ooh, detective time. First, we clear a basic premise. Who is targeting Summit of Nations? Is former Chairman Bana Master Pawn forget already? No, Tara, not that stupid. It's traditional for deducings to start by listing information everybody know. Proper flow is for Rex Rex to think carefully and provide answer. <laughs> okay, okay. On to the next basic premise then. Where is the summit to be held? Hmm. I thought it was going to be on that battleship. It's inside the Titan battleship from Moradain. Yes, that's right. It seems like Bana is planning an assassination, but what method do you think he might be using? Poison. I think the method might be poison. Yeah, the ship's totally secure from the outside, and only trustworthy people will be attending after all. I guess the only method that really leaves is tampering with the food. But when would the poison be added, and to what exactly? Ooh, uh... I don't know. What will be poisoned? It's a giant box. Wouldn't there be royal taste testers? Is that not a thing? <laughs> I know! I don't know. I don't remember hearing if it was water or a meal. I guess meal. Yes, I can hardly imagine the VIPs will be preparing their own food. I'd quite like to see Morag and Bridget try cooking for a banquet. <laughs> and someone was saying they'd seen a lot of weird ingredients being carried inside, right? Indeed they were. Suspicious big box carried inside too. Could the strong flavored ingredients be to hide the taste of the poison? You're sharp, Rex. I bet that's exactly what they're for. The only question left is, who will be carrying out the poisoning itself? Let's see now. Um, the Turkin, I guess, because that we did talk about Turkin earlier. Could be the Turkin, the ones the girl was talking about. Bana used Turkin as minions before. Tor to remember from Artificial Blade Factory in Moradain. I can see how they might be more convenient for him than hiring professional assassins then. Yeah, but you think Turkin know how the first thing about cooking? I don't know about that. Listen, I think we're just going around in circles here. If we know somebody's probably going to poison the food, why don't we go check out the battleship itself? Good point. Regardless of who's carrying it out, we should act fast if we're going to stop this plot. That's settled then. Everybody go to Dining Hall of Ardanian Battleship. Bana the Schemer. Complete. No gold. I wonder if we should do a quick rest. Let's do that. Let's do a short rest. See if anybody can level up. Ooh, look, we can. Oop. Yes. Yeah, I'm feeling stronger than before. Level on up. I'm stronger than this, you know. Much, much stronger. More, yep, more level, strong up, now. level up. And good old Zeke. 
My incredible power knows no bounds. Yep, we are done. Morgan Bridget cooking well about that. <laughs> are they has it been mentioned that they were bad cooks before? Did you have a restful sleep? Uh, yes, we did have a restful sleep. Thank nice you very much. Cat nap. Was Alright. Oh look. I wonder if this is one of the people we can help. I poured my heart into baking these b bickies. Would you care to try one? Oh yeah, yeah, we already bought her stuff. By bickies, does she mean biscuits? Like cookies? Alright, where are we headed? I can't see it on this map. Isn't it that big thing over there? How are they- if their security is so impressively awesome, how are we gonna get on? Are there a heart to heart about them? Okay, we can do that after we finish up here. Sounds good. Well, let's go check out their massive security features by walking straight on board with no questions asked. Oh, there's a big giant box. Uh-huh. Yep, yeah, something's in there. Let's just take care of it right now. Hiya, hiya, hiya. Okay, enough fooling around. We gotta get more ag. Arrived. The armory. <laughs> All in one Anything piece. in here? Oh. No, doesn't look like it. Is this the same uh, battleship that we fought on earlier? I think it is. Yeah, I remember this area. Oh boy. Look at that food. Stop everything! Hold it! What? <laughs> Don't play dumb. Poison! That food is poisoned! <laughs> poison? <laughs> You kids crazy. I don't know why, but that line delivery was kind of funny. Fast talking. Quick, grab them. Yeah. Are we sure though? We don't want to just like attack them if Let's we don't know for sure. Oh, I'm talking. Oh no, we don't have Zeke in the party. We need to get him in again because he has the ability to. Uh, do a lot of fun stuff. Man, look how he's pooping him. We are just taking these guys out with no problem. Okay, let's do a little two. Just because. Oh, I should have done Mm. Yeah, make sure we're on the same person. Oh, I thought the wrong button. That's alright. She can use some water, please. Oh, it's cutie poppy. Oh, 
That'll do some damage. Ooh, level four. Let's just do it. Oh, I did that too early. Oh, there's more. I thought we had gotten more. I shall defend you to the last why not? I am. Break. Heat break. Rolling smash. Oh my god, but. Why not? Gotcha. Oh, can oh, oh, there we go. Now they're taken care of. Alright, what did you guys say? Their hats have jiggle physics. <laughs> Zeke Blade Chronicles. Please wait. Papoonin, what are you doing here? What silly question? It Papoonin who hire world famous band of gourmet chefs, fire dragons. World famous? Gourmet chefs. Maura Dane, very insistent, want only very best food for important summit. Papoonin work wings to bone finding chefs, and now what this? Uh, so you mean? These guys are just a bunch of cooks. <laughs> I did think they were not putting up much of a fight. Yep, that's what I was saying. Oh no, don't just eat it. What are you doing? What if it actually is poison? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. <laughs> I could eat this stuff forever. Yep. What friend doing? Very expensive food now go to waste. Sorry. We really did think they were here to murder someone. Oh my murder? Gosh. What this nonsense friends talk? I demand compensation. Friends have no idea how much time and money Papoonin spent on this. Does he not care that there's like a bunch of dead guys around him? He's just talking about the money. Huh? From where? Or maybe it's like Pokemon. They're just knocked out. Uh oh. Hey, what's going on? Explosion in the hangar! Right when everyone was busy with Queen Rakura's arrival, it's really bad. From the giant box? The Queen is here. This is it. Rex, we need to hurry. Yeah. Hey, 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 wait! Hey! Oh, yeah, no they're not away. dead. They come back in a DLC class. Oh, affinity idea up. What else? Affinity from rock. Good. All right, let's go activate those real quick. There we go. I am awake. And it was one of Poppy QT. There she is. What's that? One? What is this one over here? What are we doing here? Vegetables. Let's see if we can do that now. Do you have anything in your pouch? Yes, we still do. Actually, let's see if everyone else does. Oh, he doesn't. Oh, Nia doesn't either. All right, let's look at what his blades want. Um, does she need anything? I don't think so. Oh, look, Wolfric. Another awakening. I didn't even realize he had leveled up. All right, let's see if Cassandra needs anything. Critical attack. Alright, 
Where's Wolfric? What does he need? Staple foods and literature. Um, what do we want? Super strength or focus? Um, well, this one should be done quicker. So we'll do literature. Nope, that's not. There we go. All right, give you a book to read. Do we have one? Oh no, we don't have one. Okay, what's a staple? Here's staple. All right, we'll give you a wrapped Glarna bake. I love this. <laughs> who knew I'd be so lucky? All right, and who else needs a pouch item? Nia does. So Nia, what does your blades, what do they want? Um, nope. Oh wait, was there one more? That's not, yeah. Um, cosmetics. All right, I guess we can do that for now. I don't even know if we have cosmetics. Oh, we do, okay. Uh, I guess we'll just do this thing. You have my thanks. Wait, I thought the girl would like it. Ah. <sighs> oh well. Moving on. Stuff veggies in Poppy's mouth. Oops. Compensation. Who are you, villain? Is this some girl underhanded Ardadian okay. oh, trick? I have to remember that. Ah! But oh, Rosa's back? Truth is complicated. Anyhow, here is where Queen died. If we look like Queen killed by Mora Dane, me in the money again! Mm. That voice. Yep, you recognize Back that voice. From the Argentum Guild. Correct! Tough box for the Queen! But you were unseated as chairman. It's not so easy to get rid of Banner. <laughs> Trade Guild of Argenta belong to Banner, down to last screw, last drop of oil. It's kind of funny if you imagine Rosa speaking with his voice. Hold it, Banner! Yo, Rex! Nah! Banner not let Rex interfere with plans! Again and again! Banner not stand for this! Oh well. Upon that artificial blade. It, Rosa. Me me me. Tora feel much greater power than before. Especially yep. from mark on forehead. Um. What's going on? What's that? What does the mark mean? Even Emperor comes straight to Banner. Convenient little is a great man. He did nothing wrong. Right. Come on, Banner. He's got a G. Must be one exact you've lost. You know you won't get away with it. What with all these witnesses here. G for get good. If Banner simply kill everyone, then nobody blah. Victory of Banner is a shot. You know we can't let you do that. That's right. <laughs> You think you handle the power of the Giga Rosa? Oh, Giga. Things go very Giga. different this time. Oh, we should have Zeke in the party. Because he has, uh, he's good against mechanical Let's things. Let's show him a thing or three. I can take the way of my attention to Well, if we lose this, I'm getting Zeke in here. I wonder if he can top it. Can you do your break attack? I guess we'll go for There we go. Top Perfect. Uh-oh. What happened? Hey. 
up, get up. Your flames and my wind will lift up a great sword. Oh. No, I switched too early. Oh, good. Oh, okay. Take care. Oh, okay, I'll get to This is a nice relationship. Oh, this attack is horrible. Stay still. Let me show you things to do. Oh, Ooh, right. topple ray of light. Let's try it off this time. Oh no! Oh gosh! Get up, get up, get up, get up. Uh oh, that's no good. I love that move. Yeah. 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 I hope I can do my level 4 inside. Why not? Oh no! We got toppled! This is very bad. Nia! 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 Oh no. Don't aggro on Nia, no! Topple, topple, topple. Oh Get off of Nia. Oh jeez. Oh my gosh, oh no. Get up, get that potion quick, 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 quick. Why is he just constantly aggroing on Nia? Oh my gosh, what's happening? I no longer live in fear. Keep it together. It's getting tough. Stay alive. Let 
We did it! We did it! How? Even Giga Rosa defeated by these <laughs> nasty meddling kids! This ends here, Bada. You are under arrest. Hi, Potty Force! The Praetorium will handle the judgment. Thanks for coming. Assassination is a serious matter. Your sentence will be harsh. And thank you. So the mercantile genius Banner. Meets an inglorious end. Oh, thanks, Super Game of Highs. Yeah, I couldn't use a chain attack. I used it to mm -hmm. heal them. Banner is not kind of man to go down like this. Uh, uh oh. If I go down, I <gasps> take you with me. What a bitch. Oh. Look at him running in there. Just like Midoriya. Oh no! <gasps> Is he safe? Oh no! Oh no! no. Ardenek, you... you sought to protect us? Oh okay, he looks I'm fine. Glad. Majesty! Oh no, maybe not. Majesty! Oh. Your Majesty, please, no! Your Majesty, I have failed you. Oh no. <gasps> oh my gosh! To protect us, you. Please wake up. No! Niall! Niall! Oh my gosh! Oh my god. Morag. Oh my god. Dromach. Yes? Distract the others. Distract? I'm not sure I. N no. My no. lady, you cannot. There's still time. Oh, can she help him? Hurry. Yes, my lady. There are more of them. Where? What'd you say? This way. The rest of you should get to safety. Oh, drum I'm on so it. cool. Oh my gosh. Nia, if you can help him, please do. Oh. I can't believe he did that. Is Bana gone? Was that the end of him? Death count plus one. Star Fox 64. Totally. Okay, Nia, please, please help him. Oh, that was such an act of 
Selfless kindness. That was crazy. <gasps> Ooh, what's that? Oh my gosh. You are... Shh, you're gonna be fine. Oh, what's happening here? Hmm. What do you mean? Ages? Imagined it. You got us all in a proper tizzy. My apologies. I thought I spied silhouettes. <laughs> I did not mean to cause trouble. Hey! Huh? Yay, Nia. Saved. Hey, you guys! His Majesty the Emperor is awake. What? Can it be? Oh, good job. Majesty? Aww. I wish you could have fixed I Fan, apologize too. apologize for making you worry. Majesty! It's... it's a miracle. When Aegean returned to it's his core, <laughs> I'm certain we had lost you. <laughs> Honestly, you call yourselves soldiers. First aid, anyone who'd have it. But his wounds. <laughs> Just scratches. <laughs> Nothing me and Dromark can't handle. That's so awesome. You saved. <laughs> Thank you, Nia. I truly don't know how to. Good on you, I will Nia. never be able to repay you for what you... Aw, she's oh, so thankful. don't sweat it. Let's just say you owe me when. That'll do fine, right? Mia. Aw, yay. I did not think that would turn around like that. I really wish she could help Fan. Hmm. Point blank explosion, just a flesh wound. Morag does take the missiles. <laughs> Ooh, is he going to tell us more about Nia? You shouldn't be up. It's only been one day. Please don't strain yourself. Half a day off, and look at all this paperwork. I swear, it's like they don't want me to sleep at all. Majesty. Special Inquisitor, I hereby issue you new orders. It is my wish that you travel with the Aegis as an emissary of the Empire. Yeah, we have more Ag back. Her and defend her against her enemies until she reaches Tantal. Guard the Aegis. I've already discussed it with his eminence. Forgive me, your majesty. I cannot accept. What? Why not? Just think about what happened yesterday. It would be sheer foolishness for me to oh, leave your side. She wants to protect him. Is that so? Huh? I can see it in your eyes. It's clear that the Aegis, or rather, that boy, has made a great impression on you. That's not. I am your. Special Inquisitor. <laughs> Missiles Ensuring that your Majesty's safety Titan. is my only concern. To abandon that duty and yeah, go traveling. Yeah, seriously, Gramps did troll us back then. He had me. I was so sad. Is this... Aegeon's? A driver who cannot even protect himself is no driver at all. Yesterday's events have made me keenly aware that Ooh, I have do no we get that aptitude one? for it. It will be of more use <gasps> in your hands. Majesty. No way! He the protected everyone else, changing, though. He was useful. Morag. I trust you more than anyone to lend that boy the wisdom and strength he will need. <sighs> Protect the baby. <laughs> I miss it, you know. Lake Util and Gormont. What? 
Remember when the two of us would shake off the servants and go swimming there? Um, uh, yes, of course. Kids from the nearby village would come too. Good times. Majesty. If more Ardain, no, the whole of all rest could be like that again. Wouldn't it be beautiful? I like his positive thinking. Is that my new duty then? In truth, it should have been you sitting in this chair right now. The Imperial line has always passed from father to son. Oh. On the day your majesty was born, that's exactly what happened. I knew that day would come. It came as no surprise. You were raised by my father to take the throne of the Empire. As befits the daughter of my Lord Uncle Andric. And I am grateful for it. Aww. If not for him, I would never have met Bridget. Never have met them. I'd have missed oh, out on so much. she likes us. There. Those are your true feelings. Aww. A magnificent power resides in you. Little bro has some knowledge. Morak, power like yours exists to be used. Nile. You've been tied down long enough. He's so encouraging. Follow your heart, Morag Lidair. I have no words. Thank you, Your Majesty. Very well, then. I hereby accept the task you have assigned to me. That's the Morag I know and love. Make me proud. Sibling. That was so sweet. They care about each other so much. Yeah, because so uh, that water is her is. weakness, right? It seems our paths continue to entwine. That's awesome news. Yay. To be honest, I was really hoping there was some way you could stick we around. We were hoping, yay. I was just thinking of asking you myself. Saved you the trouble, did I? That you did. <laughs> Thanks a bunch. Oh, I like to see them Morag. smiling. Aw, she's warming up some. Showing more emotions. That's awesome. I can't help but feel that in all the confusion surrounding Banner, our concerns have been neatly swept aside. The Praetorium maintains absolute control over blade distribution. It is quite vexing. Awakening rates from natural cores are very low, which limits the pool of compatible drivers. So to create large numbers of drivers, the cleansing Indol provides is a necessity. Hmm. That much I'm willing to accept. The real problem is the fact that the Aegis has awakened. Now, this is no time to be squabbling over territory. If we misread the situation even a little, Uriah itself could be sunk to the Cloud Sea's bed. Emperor Nile must surely be thinking the same thing. That's why he sent his precious Morag to shepherd them along. And now we find ourselves in their debt. Who could have predicted such an act of selflessness? Was it just the passion of youth, or was it... M my liege? Was it what? In any case, for now we should keep our troops mobilized while we monitor the situation. I hardly expect Tantal will comply with the Praetor's plan so easily, either. <laughs> Is that you now? We gotta reuse the rando models. <laughs> I thought it was a dude at first. <laughs> you has glasses. <laughs> Alright, party formation has changed. Well, hmm. Who shall we get in here? 
Oh, I kind of want to use Zeke. Let's throw Zeke in here. I know he's not total tank. Let's just throw him in there for a little bit. Let's see what happens. All right, so now we got more ag left. I guess... All right, so we can either go off to Tantal or we can start our side questing. Because this seems like we have our whole party back together. So what would you guys like best? I am going to do side quests at some point. Like, we need to focus on them because we have a lot of them. I will show you. Look at this. We have four pages of side quests to get through. So that's a lot. So we can do one of those or we can start with just heading out to Tantal. I'm okay going to Tantal, but we do need to get some side quests done soon-ish. You vote for Tantal? Okay, so that's one vote for that. Oh, we have two, one vote for side quest and one for Tantal. Morag and Zeke. Um, so, what, you want, like, Rex in, out? I guess Z could be our, our attacker. And then we could get Morag in as our secondary tank. That could work. Alright, you want to do some side quests in Heart to Hearts? Go see Tantal and then side quests? Juicy content. <laughs> um. All right. Is it if we go to Tantal? Is it does it open up immediately so we can start doing quests, or does it like jump you right into a bunch of uh, cutscenes and things that you have to do that will prevent us from doing side quests? Okay, so we can land on Tantal first. All right. We can do that because once we get there, we should be able to um, skip travel. Yep, let's go. Actually, not yet. Just in case, for whatever reason, let's do a save. There we go. Alright, now we're ready. Let's go. Oh, I just skipped through all that. Sorry. Um, with Prince of Tantal on board, getting in should be a piece of pollen cake. Parafox, hi! Oh, Tantal's the best music for you. Oh, nice. You fancy? It looks like a homey Mithra. place. Uh, Aw. I'm glad you, you could join Parafox. Anyway, they're the same person. I've never really thought of them separately. Are you serious? But they're like totally different characters. <laughs> oh no! Sorry, hold on. Alright, let's see. There we go. Okay. Luckily, I have my pink and green Joy Cons. So we are good like to go. Mithra is jolly intense. And Pyra is just totally mellow, or I don't know, what's the opposite of pushy? <laughs> On the outside, maybe, but Pyra's got a lot of backbone, too. She can be pretty stubborn. You seem to understand them Shipping time. Deeply. Shipping on a ship. <laughs> well, I suppose you are their driver. Mm-hmm. Hey. Yeah? You're a prince from Tantal, aren't you, Zeke? Why were you in the Praetorium? I mean, you can't just ask someone. Oh, his old man kicked him out. <laughs> Boy, no, bad play. Thank you bad. very much. How long have you been standing there? From about... <laughs> which one do you fancy? Which one do you... Fa <laughs> That's the, <laughs> the whole, whole conversation. conversation. <laughs> As I was saying, my prince got disowned by his father. He spent all his time traveling the world for fun, instead of attending to his studies. Then bye! It wasn't for fun. I was learning all about uh, society and international relations. <laughs> international relations? That what you call it? Oi! <laughs> She's it, really you? throwing him under what the bus. What are you doing anyway? Dissing your own driver. <laughs> you guys crack me up. I love him really. Aww. 
Anyway, he sounds tough. Zeke's dad, I mean. Tantal is an isolationist society. Married couple status. Crossing its borders without <laughs> leave is strictly forbidden. It's been that way for ages now. Oh. Hmm. But you've seen how my prince here is. Couldn't stop himself leaving a few times. So he got chewed out and disowned. Back when he was 15 or something. Man, she is spilling all yeah, his secrets. Yeah, something like that. Ben the Praetor himself found him half dead on the ground one day and took him in. He made up that special envoy stuff. And that's how you ended up in Indol. It all makes sense now. Oh, but wait. Is it safe for you to go back to Tantar then? This time we've got official business from the Praetorium. It'll be fine. Probably. Besides. Yeah? Tantal is too ignorant of the outside world. It needs a wake-up call. Candy. <laughs> Sire, we have reached the designated coordinates. Please. Right! Ready? You betcha! Huh? Shut up and sit down, chum. This'll be great! <laughs> What's about to happen? Um, okay. Bridget and Pyra. <laughs> Morg is the only man for Bridget. <laughs> what? My lord, Genbu has begun surfacing. I am aware. Well, it's look at that Pandoria. face. Then the prince. Yes. We have received reports that he made contact with the Aegis in Indol. So after 500 years, he makes his move. Praetor Amalthus. My lord? Hmm. We must act to protect our days of peace, even if they are a dream that cannot last. I got a Game of Thrones vibe from that guy. You should Br Bridget and Jin. <laughs> oh, you guys are coming up with all kinds of combinations now. A face not even a mother could love? Aww. I don't know. Mother's love could be pretty powerful. We're gonna go with his mom loves him. Or her, uh, actually. I don't know. I can't really hear it, so I couldn't oh, tell if it was a guy or girl. It's just like a bigger version of Tutus. It's called Genbu. Aww. It's the same I like forgot about Titan that little type turtle. as Uriah. Normally, it's submerged in the Cloud Sea. Even in early fall, it can get pretty cold inside Tantal. Mind you, don't freeze. Oh, are we going to our first <sighs> snow level? I stand the cold. I can provide my own warmth. You can stay close to me if you like. Aww, that's nice. Me as well. Aww. You guys are pretty handy to have around. Well, it is our trademark, right? Essentially. <laughs> I will never freeze. <laughs> Aren't you going to be cold like that, Shalad? I'm used to it. I'll be dandy. Oh my gosh. He's naturally dense. It's good insulation. <laughs> oh, makes, makes sense. sense. Stop encouraging her, gang of bullies. <laughs> They're all picking on him now. Those wings are fun. <laughs> oh, super gamer guy. <laughs> Here we are, Tantal. Oh, I wish I could hear the music. I'll play it after the stream ends because I want to hear it. A new stage to Tiger Tiger. Whoop de doo. My favorite thing. All right, so we could go. We don't need to go for the capital. I guess now is a good time to do some side questing now that we're here. Is that all we were planning on doing? Just landing? 
That is a cool looking ship. All right. I wonder if there's one that we can do quickly. It's like butter. Let's see. Music. The night theme reminds me a lot of the Colony 9 music. Oh, really? I love Colony 9 music. Here, I'll let you guys listen to it for a second. As we just run around aimlessly. All right, now we will move on. Oh, first of all, we should actually look at the quest. Um, I think I was close to crane criminals. I think that one should be pretty easy. At nighttime, defeat the Turkin. All right, let's try this one. Let's go for that. And that's in Gourmet. Um, Actually, I don't know if we should go to Torgoth. We might want to go Actually, that's fine. Because I don't remember the map here. So I'm just going to go from Torgoth because I know the general area it is. So we'll just do that. But we will return. Don't worry. We will come back to the magical music. And by the way, the music is great everywhere. Oh, so for trouble. no worries Where there. Do we go from here? And this place has fantastic music. I love it here. Oh look, she got her affinity! Focus level 2! Yay! There we I'm go. Not done Perfect. Polishing my skills yet. What's her other one? Um, oh yeah, make food. I'll do that later. Where is... Um, I was told... Yep, meat. So let's get him some meat. Oh, right, we already did that, which didn't even work. We gotta remember to do that next time. Anybody else's pouch? Oh, here we go. What are her blades? Um, I think Finch actually needs something. Um, vegetables, yep. Um, and cosmetics. Oh, but it's a favorite pouch. Does it have to be the exact favorite that, like, the one that they really, really like? Or can it just be that category? Um, we'll just do a vegetable and see what happens. Oh, veggies. Um, meaty carrot. What have we not tried? We'll, we'll try this crispy saute. Good choice. I happen to be quite fond of these. Hey, thanks a bunch. All right, let's see if that worked. Oh, it did work. Perfect. Okay. Awesome. Oh, I should have checked to make sure everyone's pouch had something. Yep. Okay, we're good. It's the dawn of a right, new day. Let me read you the agenda for Making today. food is a hassle? Oh no. Oh, by the way, using the pouch expansions can allow a driver to have two pouches? Oh, how do we do that? Let's do that. Let's get those out. Um can you explain how to do that? <laughs> uh, expand? Oh, how many times can we do this? Hmm. Is it only a one-time thing? Oh, I see. Oops. I didn't mean to go out of there. Alright, let's see what uh, we can do for them. Hers was just cooking, right? Yes. Yep, okay. And what about, oh yeah. Can't do much with her. Um, crushing twister. Seafood, okay, cool. So we will give Rex's other pouch seafood item, if we have any. I think we do, yep, there we go. All right, you can have gourmati. Since we're in gourmat, we'll give you a I gourmat find this thing. Delicious. Is this really for me? There you go. All right, let's see. Um, 
Let's see what we do here. Uh, <laughs> up to three times, but you need kits for each upgrade. I should do Pyra's tier two red node. I do one on all but Tora, and I have no idea, honestly, Tora is going to see the least use for the rest of the playthrough. Oh, really? Oh. Okay. I wonder why. Alright. Oh, what was... Let's check out her red node first, since you mentioned it. Um, yes! We need to do that. Ferris. Or fairies. I wonder where those are. We need to find those. We only need to defeat five of them. Alright. Moving on. Does... Does she actually need to be in the party Let's for that see. to work? Like, does she need to be active? It's not like a passive thing. She, like, we probably need to have Rex in the party, don't we? Um, alright. I guess... If we need her in there, I guess we need to switch them. Just in case we run into any of those monsters. Yeah, cutie pie. I know, Poppy's cutie pie. Let's see, Morag is strictly better. Only way to make Tora better is by committing heavily and specifically to Tiger to Oh. Always make sure Pyra and Mithra are ready for combat. Yeah. Um, let's check out Mithra's really quick. I don't know if there was anything. Ray of Punishment, we're getting close. Leftheria, Leftheria. Yeah. Alright, first we need Pyra because we need to defeat those fairy things. Alright, now... We need to find that, the bad guys. They're somewhere around here. Let's get this collection. Because shiny! Squirrel. <laughs> what have we here? Flora heals an aching Come on. soul. Come Ooh, on. His army actually had a use. Nice. Okay. Now back to the matter at hand. Uh, it needs to be night, though, right? Nighttime. So, is it under system? Yeah, change time. Uh, I guess that. No! Right, where are they? There they are. The hey, Great. don't run away! Now. Yes. Hey, let's keep this hey. up, and we'll win for this one ah. too. Oh, don't give up on me. Whoa, that was super ah. easy. Ah. Oh my gosh. That was like one hit. Well, uh, I think we took care of that problem. Was that it? Report back. <laughs> yeah, that was it. But first of all, let's go up here. I want to see what's up here. Those turkins were like, those were like butter. We just sliced right through them. They weren't a problem at all. You're all mine. Is that all they were guarding? This chest? Oh. Alright. Well, let's head on back. I wish I knew what the the fairy come out, come out. thing was. The Flora thing that we need to defeat for Pyra. Come on, come to mama. What are those? Does anybody know where they are? Oh, did I miss something? No. <clears throat> Alright, what do you got here? Super Gamer Guy says, While you're in Torgoth, two things to mention. Head to where you first met Bridget and the others to do... Tranquility? Yeah, the... Ferris or fairies? Those are the wolf lion things near where he first entered the plains way back when. Oh. Alright, we'll go back that way as well. Um, what did you mean by tranquility? Is that the, um, you mean the other side quest? Because I think we have to find some crust tips for that one. 
I, it, they all get mixed together. I'll have to check on the uh, on the thing. Am I going the right direction? Okay, this looks like we're getting closer. Maybe. Uh oh. Oh no, maybe not. Alright, where is it? Mm, this doesn't look like we're going back. Report back to Lumber Company. Do we walk right by him? Ah. He might be outside of the building. Let's take a look. Is he the one that's in here? Yep, there we go. Man, it's been a while since we talked to him. Yo! Five winding gears. Salvage them around Gormont. Got it. Don't let me down. Wait, this isn't the guy. Ah, oh, there he is. Yep, the one that was outside of town. A job well done, I reckon. Huh? You cracked the case? Well, don't keep it to yourself. Spill it. <clears throat> so the thing is, blah, 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 blah. So it was Turkin what did it. What a... With a bow. Whoa. Old man Nathias made that wire extra strong, so it's kind of incredible a bow would do it in. Awesome job, everyone. I'll let Chief... Uh... Evan? Uh, I guess so. Know that the case is done and dusted. Got it. Oh, and before I forget, here's your reward for apprehending the perps. Do we get some money? Let's take a look. Do we get some moolah? Ah, Just a damage heal. Oh well. Yay. Does that mean we completed... Did we complete it, actually? Tranquility. There it is. Um, yep, looks like it. What about this one? What did this need us to do? Speak to... Didn't... Okay, so we got Crane Criminals done, I thought. Oh yeah, it's done. So the other one is to repair Torgoth's Crane, which is this one. Oh, the gears. Where do the gears come from? All right, let's do, let's see what tranquility needs. Oops, wrong button, sorry. Ah! Oh my gosh, there we go. We still need salty soil. And I have no idea where to get that from. All right, let's see. Um, didn't the auto activate or do you have to talk to that guy there? Which guy? Salty. I don't think it's going to tell us anything if we set this as the active quest. Like, I don't think it'll show us. Yeah, it doesn't show us where we can get it from. Oh, well, there's Evan right there. Okay, so we need to go where we first met Bridget. Alright. Is there a heart to heart? Let's see. Let's get our map up. I think we first met her down here. We actually were walking right towards it. <laughs> um, I need the salty... Hold on, let me bring it up again. Oh, I think I, ha I said it. Hold on. Salty soil. Alright. So we first met Bridget right around here. Um, super gamer guy, what were you looking for in this area? Apparently there's some runes there with a blade sealed inside. Some kind of scary blade that's supposed to bring disaster. That's what my great grandpa said anyway. I'm totally gonna go there and find that blade someday. Alright, so yeah, salty soil. Um, am I missing something? I must have forgot something on core hunters. I thought this is where we met Bridget for the first time, right under this bridge. <laughs> Bridget. Or maybe it was down further? I don't know, I thought it was closer. So yeah, we need salty soil, and I remember 
We also need um, crust dips because one of our one of which one was it? True Colors. Yes, crust dip chitin. I need two more of those as well, and I think that's only that might be only in Fonzamima. I mean, Araya. I don't know because I saw some other um, crust ups and I tried killing them, but they never dropped that at all. All right, let's see. There's a side quest I passed. Oh, where? Let's take a look. Go back. Oh, talk to Glenn. I thought he was um, this guy. Give the money, give the chain of keys. Do we have the chain of keys? Oh, we did. Oh, wow. That was easy. I've never been able to get something like this with a little bit of money the wife let me spend. I'll head over to, to Twina's and get her uh, stove fixed. It'll be right as rain in no time. Uh, that's in the stomach of Uriah. Yeah, that's I went down there and I killed every single one in there and I only got two. So I guess I just have to go back. Alright. Oh, let's finish up that guy who we just talked to. Um, was it fresh and fruity? Yeah, that was it. We're actually getting stuff done! Hooray! Oh, we need to buy literature. Do they have that here? Um, not seeing any. No. Does not look like it. Hey, Kiara. Gormani loved their national instrument, the Torgonda, but it's so hard to hit the right notes, and I'm starting to get fed up of hearing it. I want to play something else now. Wouldn't it be nice if Gormat started collaborating with other cultures to make some totally new instrument? I bet they'd come up with something really weird and unique. Hopefully not too weird, though. No point if you can't get a decent tune out of it. I guess so. Oh, look, here's another. What do you have to say? The grown-ups in Torgoth don't seem very happy about having all these Ardenian soldiers around either. If everyone keeps being nasty like this, we might end up at war. I think I talked to the wrong person. Peter? Oh. We just did talk to them. I guess that's a quest I already have activated. Or picked up. But we are on a current mission. We gotta go fix the stove. Or at least make sure that her stove is fixed. I wonder if we can survive that jump. I don't think I can get far enough over. Let's go for it. Oh! Ooh, yeah, we did. Fela. Let's talk to him real quick. You must be the ones Mo Mau Maui mentioned? Looking to join the Militia Corps, are you? Uh, no. You just wanted to help out? Well, that's a shame. Very well, I'll tell you about it. I ordered a, lot, a load of stuff, but it hasn't arrived yet. It was at the, the Nopon camp in the uh, nether parts of Gormat where I ordered it. Nopon last called Mopopo it was. I don't get it. All the other stuff I ordered from them came when they said it would. Maybe something's up. Hmm, this is awkward. What should we do? Maybe a monster or something got him. I'd be no good helping him with something like that. That's why I asked... Mm, I'm just going to say Maui. If he'd send some good fighters over. The Nupon camp's out on the uh, Garanti Plain, right near the way tree it is. I know it's a big job, but do you mind going to the Nupon camp and seeing what's up with them? Leave it to me. It'd really help us out if you could. Thanks a million. Okay, we picked up another one. Um, we can get salty soil and ore nodes in Uriah. Thank you, Dan. Uh, no, don't set this as the quest. We already have one. Oh, we went too far down. Oh, there's... There's some cosmetics. Um... Here we go. Alright. Oh look, another side quest. There are tons of these things. Ooh, there's gotta be someone who can help. I don't want to lose. Oh, hey, you there. Yeah, you. 
Listen, have you heard of this place? Uh, this pale beetle called the Snow White Rhino? Yeah, let's fill us in. I've got a bet going with my mate, Leaf, to see who, who could find one first. But just recently I heard something awful. Apparently Leaf asked this old guy he knows to go find a Snow White Rhino beetle for him. I mean, sure, Seagull Fell is dangerous for kids, but come on, seriously? Unfair, right? Uh... Sure, it's unfair. Right, seriously? That's why I want you to go and fetch a Snow White Rhino for me too. This has just become a proxy war. If Leaf's gonna use a mean trick like this, then so will I. My mom, my mam's no help. She tells me not to go anywhere dangerous, but then she tells me not to let him beat me too. Anyway, this is real lucky for me. You'll help out, right? We'll take care of it. Awesome, thanks. Snow White Rhinos like to hang out near Seagull Fell, down near the tail end of Gormont. Oh, but apparently they only come out early in the morning. That's basically all I know. Uh, you'll work it out, I'm sure. I'll make sure to have some sort of reward ready for you. Look forward to it. Young man's prize. You never finished the rhino quest? Oh no, it's a hassle without guides. Um, do I have the core crystal hunter's info? I do not. Oh, oh no, I didn't mean to set that as my active quest. Um... Okay, first let me fix that. We were working on... Wait, did I pass it? Fresh and fruity. Okay, let... Can I find that in my items? To see if I purchased it? Um... I got this one. Core, core Crystal Hunters, is that the one? Um, Tranquility and Core Hunters are the only meaningful ones here. Oh, most of these quests are too little too late? Aw. Oh. Maybe it needs to be daytime. I don't know. I could try changing the time. Uh, first of all, I need to finish this one up. I think she's around here So There she is. Oh look, they're right next to each other. Oh, there you are. Their pairs are all done and dusted now. Do it right, fast, and cheap. That's my motto. It doesn't rhyme or anything, but it's still a good motto. Oh, hello there, driver. Thanks for helping me out so much. Looks like everything worked out. He's fixed up the stove so well you'd think it was brand new. Oh, it makes me think of the day my husband brought it home. It does. Nice to think that this stove is still going strong, like our marriage. Well, my husband's going to be home soon, so I best get cracking on this pie. It's a family secret, this pie, you know. Passed down through the generations. Ooh, there I go again. Once I start talking, I can't stop. Said I'd give you a little something for going to all that trouble, didn't I? I don't think it'd be enough uh, to just let you have a slice of pie. So I'll give you the recipe. Now you'll be able to make a fancy pie anytime you like. It's not easy, mind. Thank you so much. Well, Pyra can cook something. Okay, so you know it's where you first met Bridget, but we don't know the, the time of day. Well, we can go over there and check it out. I can go over there and um, change the time of day. Um, we'll just go here again. All right, so we'll go over there and I'll make it um, daytime, I suppose. Now just go. See if that does anything. <laughs> Alright, so this is where we met her. Um, as best as I can see, all you need is that info. Okay. Well, let's try changing the time. I guess to just daytime. Regular day. Okay. Does this look like what we're looking for? Does this look right, Super Gamer Guy? Oh, Painter! I wish I could see what's on there. Oh, nothing. Oh, I didn't see anything. Ooh! Is that a chest up there? Oh no, it's a window. <laughs> uh, I guess I can try... 
Uh, chapter 5 or later, which we are, yes. Okay, so is it a different time then? Let's see, we could try this time. Um, no, it looks like the same. Okay. Let's try a different time. Night time. I think we kind of already tried night time. Oh, look, his easel's still here. What a good touch. Nice detail. All right, that didn't work. Oh, 10 cores in my inventory? I don't think so. No, I only have five. But I do have two rares, I didn't realize that. Um, they won't try and rob you if you don't have cores. Oh, so we need more cores then. Yeah, we're not worth mugging. We're so cheap. Oh well, sorry, super gamer guy. I tried. Alright. What were we doing? Oh, not that. Um, we can go... We can try and get the... Let's see. Tranquility was what? Oh yeah, the salty soil, which... Yeah, we need to start saving the cores now that we know that. Um, and the salty soil was, where did Dan say it was? Um, ore nodes in Uriah. Okay. Oh, Dan's going. Okay, good night. Thank you for coming. I'm only going to play for a few more minutes anyway, so see you next time. I will be back Thursday, so hopefully see you Thursday. Have a good night. All right, so let's go to... Raya, really quick. We'll just do some quick stuff here. I don't know where those nodes are though. We can do some crust tip hunting. Or I could just call it for tonight and we'll pick up on Thursday because it is after midnight anyway. So I'm not sure. But first of all, was it this one? Yeah, there's the crust tips. That way we can at least get a marker on there. Oh, it didn't show up. It showed up last time. Hmm, that's weird. Let's see if we can just run into them on their own. Let's rest the spell. So there we go. Now the markers are back, and they're way down there. And we can't survive that fall. Bread's out. All right, I'm not gonna walk all that way. Skip travel. Um, is that lower? Probably not. We're here. So, shall we? Oh my gosh! Get out of there! Come out! Come out! Allow me. Leave it to me. I know more than I let on. Take a rest at the inn in Fonzamima? Okay. Huh. Alright, that'll kill us. Oh, but there's a one right here. Um, there we go. We got down safely. Alright, now to find those crust tips. Swimming, swimming. Oh, the lights are so gorgeous in here. I love it. All right, are we getting close? Where are they? Oh, we passed one. Hey, buddy, can you give us some crust up let's show stuff? Three. Rex, let's go. Hey, don't run away. 
KO. And now! Rolling smash! Let's keep this up and we'll win for sure. Oh, the good news is, we will be able to take these guys down pretty easily. Do we only need two of these gotcha. things? Alright, did it drop it? Please, please, please. Oh, did we get some? I saw it. I thought I saw it. Oh, yes! Perfect. Okay, we need to find another one. We just need one more. One more. There's one back here. I see you. And hit the rock. Put your best foot forward. It's okay. Next. Just watch this. Great. 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 Ha! Let's Top keep this up. Make sure it's in sight. We seem to be yeah. doing just fine. Rolling smash. We're on a roll now. It won't be yeah. that easy. Our motions are in tune, right? Ready on high rolling. 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 Remember, side quests can always rest at every end. There's always a chance to spawn a new heart to heart into the world, or sometimes ah. even a full on grave fight. Oh, cool, I did not know that. You've come a long way, Rex. Did we get one? Rex has always had the make it. Oh, we did, we did! <gasps> That's awesome! I had such a hard time getting them last time. Oh, I'm so glad. Yay! Now where is she? The commercial district. Oh, that's so awesome! Um... We'll go right here. We're here! So? Shall we? Yay! And we can stay at the inn as well, right after we do this. Uh, yep, yeah, there she is. Yay! You have assisted me greatly. With this, I can complete my work. Um, what are you going to do when it's complete? I'm hoping to sell my wares to a noble named Ysold. Ysold has a special love for landscapes, and the one I'm working on now will be irresistible to her. If she buys it, then I won't have to keep skipping lunch for want of coin. Oh, I see. Ah, I haven't given you your reward yet. Here, I'm sure this will come in handy one day. Thank you so much. No, no, thank you. Do come back. I hope you'll let me paint you sometime. Oh, she's gone. Yay! Making progress! Harvest necklace. Alright, now to find the inn. Ooh, affinity! Uh, what? We have to switch. There we go. I feel a change. <laughs> she just like yelled it out. <laughs> I feel a change. Alright, now where is the inn? It actually might have been down lower. Alright, let's see. The soil that I need commonly spawns up near the area, the arena that I fought Akos and Malos. Oh, cool. We'll check that out next time. I think the inn is on the lowest level. Hopefully. Was it over here? Is this it? Okay, good. Oh, no, we do want to rest. We do, we do. Short rest. There we go. Level on yeah, up. Yeah, I'm feeling stronger than before. Really? I'm still getting stronger. No. More, more stronger. Sorry, Morag. Didn't mean to skip over you. We got gotcha. you. Don't worry. Ooh, two levels. Experience begets wisdom. All right, there we go. Now let's see if we trigger anything.
We triggered a black screen. Uh, oh, yep, look at that. You're so smart. Morag, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Really? What kind of thing? It's, well... Look, why don't we go to Fonzo and Mima Commercial District and I'll tell you there. Very well. Good morning. Oh, that's so cool. I didn't snore or anything. All right, well, um, like a baby. oh, it's right here though. I think. Look at it on the map. Where is it? Is it up higher? There it is. Uh, okay, we'll do this. This will be the last thing we do tonight. We will do this. This looks like as good a place as any to have a proper chat. So, what did you want to discuss? Well, listen, Morag. What do you think of me? Hmm. Well, um, I was wondering. Do you think I'm feminine enough? Yes. Relax. You're a very lovely young woman. Well, I mean, I'm sure most women look feminine and cute next to you, Morag, but... Oh! Are you trying to insult me? Oh, did I pick the wrong one? Oh. No, 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 not at all. Sorry. I'm not good with words. <sighs> but don't you think I'm kind of plain next to Pyra and Bridget? It's true that the two of them do have a certain healthy vigor about them. <laughs> right? Sometimes I feel like I need to up my game a bit when it comes to looks. I see. And you thought I must know all the tips and tricks to keep one's appearance in tip-top shape. No, no. <laughs> I wouldn't come to you for that kind of advice. Oh, no. It's just... You dress like a guy, right? Oh, no. Oh. So I figured you probably have a good idea of how oh, men think. Oh, no. Pandoria, what are you doing? <laughs> I see. Yeah, I knew you'd understand. So tell me, from your point of view, what have Bridget and Pyra got that I haven't? Forget it. We're done here. <laughs> oh, jeez. Huh? Wait a sec, Morag. Oh, I must have me? picked the wrong one. Oh, come on. You're such a tease. <laughs> oh man, that did not go as I thought it would. <laughs> well, on that note, <laughs> I hope you guys have an awesome night. Tomorrow I am not streaming, it is my ballet night, but I will be back Thursday. Um, should be right at 9.30, I don't see why it would be later than Thursday, so hopefully I will see you again at 9.30. Thank you so much for tuning in, I really appreciate it so, so much. It is always a blast and you guys always have the best tips, so I really do appreciate that. And I hope to see you again on Thursday. So with all that being said, I hope you guys have an awesome night, an awesome day tomorrow, and until next time, take care. <laughs>